This is a video on how to save for your down payment. I am going to highlight massive saving opportunities, with the money you already make. These tricks and tips are easy to learn and easier to execute. All you have to do is learn them. These tips helped me become a millionaire, achieve my goals, and acquire almost 20 rental units in a short period of time. Down payment is the key starting point to begin in real estate investing. So it's a must do. I've been getting a lot of viewer questions about How can I get the down payment for my first house? Or How did you save for your first rental property? Or how did you save for the down payment on your second property? These are important questions, and it's great our fans are changing their mindset correctly. But if you are like me, and are actively researching this topic, and trying to watch as many videos as possible to learn more. You may find some confusing advice. But the most frustrating advice was, save and wait until you have 20-25% to 25 down. With no context around it. Those frustrating videos didn't connect to me, as a young or first-time homeowner, and likely won't connect with you. So how did you do it? My answer is in two steps. Step 1, develop a time frame and target. For example, I want to buy a house or property in 12 months. And I need another $20,000 for the down payment. I'm sure you're sarcastically thinking, oh, wow, it's that simple? Why didn't I think about that? Thanks, I know this, now tell me how? Then comes step 2. This is the fun part. Aggressively save, save, and then save some more. But step 2 is heavily focused on cutting spending. This is my favorite topic. I've got some great ways, I personally use to save for properties. Take a look at these and think about ways you can copy in your own life. Keep in mind, cutting spending is a key part of this aggressive savings approach. Unless you have a way to increase income, want to work more hours, or get a second job, or find other ways to increase the income side of the equation. Focus on the spending, that's going to take less time, and won't require working harder, it will require working smarter. Step 2 will also develop great lifelong habits, and a way to be like the millionaire next door. Take a look at these ideas and the dollar amount of savings. These are real life ways I did it. Let's get after it. These tips aren't in magnitude order, so please watch them all. Your personal spending habits may differ, but these were key for my success in real estate. These are common pain points and ways to save. First, my car payment. I used to have an Audi A6, which I bought when I was just out of college, and with my first real paying job. This was my favorite car. However, this was a classic example of keeping up with the Joneses, or living above your means. On my journey to financial freedom, I learned about the impact of expensive cars, expensive insurance, costly fuel, expensive repairs, and living below your means. At the time, I thought the payment was manageable, and not too expensive, but I didn't realize the impact of the decision. I traded in for a Toyota SUV. Once I realized the mistake I was making. The Toyota was cheaper to repair, affordable gas, and lower payments. While not as flashy, the Toyota certainly was a reliable car, and this helped reduce my monthly expenses, and put that extra money to my savings goal for real estate. The savings from switching to a more affordable car, saved about 200 to 300 per month with payment, gas, and repairs, or 2,400 to 3,600 per year. Haircuts and beard. When I realized how much haircuts and tips, plus razors were costing monthly, I made a plan, as it adds up quickly. My younger self, always wanted to have to shave. But I learned quickly, my wallet paid the price. I now cut my own hair, and grew out a beard. As long as this is okay with your profession, it's a good way to save. I also cut my boy's hair. The cost of the hair buzzer has paid for itself, multiple times over. 
Unfortunately, my wife is on her own. While that would be a nice expense to axe, you have to know when, and where, to draw the line of what you can do versus leaving to professionals. I recognize this may not be for everyone, as women cannot do this, but think about other beauty, as an example, nails and facials are a good way to save and do yourself. I estimate, with three haircuts per month, plus no razor expense. This is around $100 a month savings. Or $1,200 a year. Dining out. We order in food more versus dining out. Ordering in and picking up from a restaurant. Plus making a small dish or other side, having your own drinks at home, no service fees, or delivery fees, can save a lot of money. We also regularly make home-cooked meals, this is a big expense for many young couples and families. This is a pretty simple way to increase your savings, by cutting this expense. For us, this was easily a 100 per month savings. Or 1,200 a year. Try Sober October. Joe Rogan and his buddies do a sobriety challenge for the month of October, called Sober October. We took it a step further, my wife and I quit drinking altogether. No alcohol at all for me in three years. For some, this is a huge expense. I am not going to belabor this point, but look at your expenses on vices, alcohol, gambling, and cigarettes as examples. Cut back or quit entirely. The numbers will be massive. Calculate one bottle of wine or a case of beer a week, times 4, multiplied by 12. That's your annual savings. Think about low-cost vacations. What is your annual vacation budget? Is it in line with your financial freedom goals? If you are looking to buy a house or property in the next 12 months, can you forego a fancy vacation for a lower-cost vacation? Personally, we vacation with family, driving and flying to our family-owned homes in summer and winter destination areas. We save on the hotel expense as a result. It's also a nice way to spend time with our family, and save money at the same time. If you are accustomed to $5,000 vacations a year and you cut back to $1,000, there's your extra $4,000 savings. Cut the cord. This is a no-brainer, and much more common than it was when I made the decision. TV, internet, and phone bundles are pricey. I saved almost $100 a month from this alone. That's $1,200 per year in extra savings. Reduce your home expenses. Some examples include, reduce your rent by moving into a smaller or more cost-effective apartment. Consider house hacking. Reducing your utility bills and do-it-yourself projects. Or managing your own landscaping and snow removal. This is going to be different if you already own a home and want to buy an investment property versus currently renting and looking to buy your first home. If you're looking to buy your first house, moving back with family for a few months is another increasingly common way people save extra money. I realize this isn't for everyone, but the savings numbers will be huge. If you currently own a home, smart thermostats like the Nest, solar panels on your roof, doing your own landscaping, leaf and snow removal, and do-it-yourself projects are all ways to save money on your living expenses. I've done all of these at various points in my life. Solar electricity was a huge savings to our utility bills. Home landscaping saved $80 per month, plus $600 per year for leaf and snow removal. Smart thermostats saved another $30 per month in the cold and hot seasons. Do-it-yourself projects, this is a big labor savings. The savings will depend on the size of the job, but 30% is a fair estimate. For me, the total savings from home expense reductions was anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500 per year. Some other examples include Installing a home gym we did this in our basement, and now save almost $200 per month. 
the upfront expenses are worth it, for $2,400 a year in savings. Switch your cell phone provider. I switch to Google Fi, my phone bill is down $50 per month. They have options for limited internet, and other packages for someone like me, who doesn't use my personal phone that often. Shop your home and auto insurance. This is important to do every other year. I will do other videos on lowering your insurance costs. But my example, is I recently switched to Allstate, with DriveWise technology in the car, and saved $40 per month, plus extra money on my homeowner's insurance as well. Reduce your clothing expenses. This is an area, where I became less focused as I got older, or had enough clothes already. But reducing frivolous spending on attire, shoes, and other expenses, is key to becoming the millionaire next door. If you tally up all the savings from these categories, it's pretty easy to see how saving 10 to 20,000 becomes possible. There is your down payment. You can also increase your income at the same time. But again income alone isn't the best approach, since you will need to make more in gross income, to achieve the same goal, if you account for taxes. Don't get stuck working harder not smarter. Remember, the rich live like they are poor, and the poor live like they are rich. Get your mind right? Financial freedom is a journey, but worth it. Let your inner drive push you to become your best. Thanks for watching.